from the wonderful world of sports, we bring you Home Run Derby, where each week the leading home run hitters of the major leagues will compete in a home run hitting contest. You'll meet such stars as Duke Snyder, Eddie Matthews, Rocky Calavito, Ernie Banks, Mickey Mantle, Henry Aaron, Harmon Killebrew, Willie Mays, and many others. Hi there, everyone. I'm Mark Scott. Today on Home Run Derby, Ken Boyer, winner of our last contest, will meet a fellow National Leaguer, Hammer and Hank Aaron. Let's meet them, shall we? Come on in, fellas. Kenny, good seeing you again. Nice to be back, Mark. Thank you. Henry, welcome to your first time on Home Run Derby. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Fellas, today you're going for the big money. The winner will receive $2,000. The loser, $1,000. As an added bonus, any time either one of you should hit three consecutive home runs, you'll receive an additional $500. The fourth home run in a row is worth another $500. And each consecutive home run after that is worth an additional $1,000. Now you'll play nine innings, and you'll each get three outs per inning. Any ball not hit out of the ballpark is an out. You don't have to swing at every pitch, but if the ball is in the strike zone and you don't swing at it, that also constitutes an out. Head umpire Art Passarella will call the strikes. Now, do you have any questions? No questions. I understand. Now, the pitchers are out there to throw the ball over the plate. They're batting practice pitchers, and they'll work every other inning. As the winner of the last contest, you'll act as the home team, which means that you'll bat first, Henry. We're all set, so let's play ball, and good luck to both of you. Good luck. Thank you. We'll start Home Run Derby in just a moment. You're watching Home Run Derby on Classic Sports Network. People are talking, talking to people. They'll soon be saying, you won't believe it. You can believe it. Sprint's great dime the minute rate just got better. Not just a little better. No way. Sprint said, let's give them something to talk about. And this is it. Call for Sprint Sense and you'll pay just 10 cents a minute, 24 hours a day, seven days a week to the number you call most often. So call now and start talking. Ooh, hey, hey. There ain't no mystery to figure out. And when you sign up for Sprint Sense, there's no confusion about what you're paying. It's always just 10 cents a minute on all your other state-to-state -state calls to anywhere in the country, every evening, every night, and all weekend long. Let's give them something to talk about. On top of that, you'll get 10% cash back after your first year with Sprint. So call now. Get 10 cents a minute all day to the number you call most. Call now. 1-800-403-6060. We now return to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Play ball! Well, it's the top half of the first inning, Henry Aaron against Kenny Boyer as two great National League sluggers get together here on Home Run Derby. Henry Aaron up. Ken, you may have your work cut out for you this week. Uh, I'll probably have to go a little better than last week. I was real lucky. There's the first swing, and already there's one. It's going, going, gone over the left field wall for a home run. Hank Aaron out in front, one to nothing here in the top of the first. One swing, one homer. He could hit out of that sick bed, couldn't he? <laughs> What a one. Ground ball, one out. Home run or nothing here on Home Run Derby. Hammer and Henry Aaron against Kenny Boyer here in this week's contest on Home Run Derby. High fly ball back deep into left field. It's going away back, and she's gone over the left center field wall. Henry Aaron out in front, two to nothing in the top half of the first. He's mean. High pop up. That'll be two out. Two away. It's a home run or nothing here on Home Run Derby. Kenny Boyer, his last week's winner, having defeated Harmon Killebrew by a score of three to two in a thrilling ball game. Three outs. A ground ball, and that's all. But Hank Aaron picks up two homers in the top half of the first inning, and the score at the end of a half inning of play, Hank Aaron two with Ken Boyer coming up. Henry, you didn't take long the first swing out of the ballpark. Well, I just got luck and a little wind behind me. Henry, just take a look at that flagpole. That wind is not blowing one little bit out there. Well, it was blowing just a teeny bit. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't have been blowing much of that just a couple of seconds ago. 
Here's Kenny Boyer coming up. Last half of the first, Henry Aaron out in front by a score of two to nothing. In contrast to last week's ball game, this one could be a big scoring game. Foul ball out of play. It's one out. Fly ball to right. Two out. Shallow. Just got under them just a little bit. Just a little bit. Swinging late on it, too. Two outs. There she goes. Way back, and it is gone over the left field wall for a homer. Yeah, he really hit that one, didn't he? He got a good piece of it, good hunk of it. It's two to one now. Hank Aaron out in front of Kenny Boyer. Another one is going away back and gone over the left field wall. It's tied up at two to two. Gonna be real tough, I see that. That's two in a row. Another one is worth $500. Three outs. Nope, he grounded it foul, and that's all. But Kenny Boyer picks up two home runs here in the bottom half of the first inning. And the score at the end of one inning of play, Henry Aaron, two, Kenny Boyer, two. Kenny had a chance for three in a row. <laughs> I had a chance, that's right. I didn't I didn't wait on a good pitch. I think I might have swung in a ball there. Well, the one thing for sure, though, you weren't intimidated. You tied him up at two to two. Well, I, I know I'm going to have to hit a few to be, beat this boy because uh, he, he can hit him. Here's Henry Aaron. Pitch does not count. Henry Aaron got two in the top of the first, with Kenny Boyer bouncing back with two in the bottom of the first. High pop-up. One out. But it took you nine innings to get three home runs last week against Harmon Killebrew. You got two in the first here today. Line drive out into left center field. Two outs. Two outs. Line drive in the left, and Three that's away. all. Henry Aaron comes up with no runs in the top half of the second inning, and the score going into the bottom of the second inning is Ken Boyer two, Hank Aaron two. Henry, you hit two right on the button, but didn't get under him enough. Yeah, just couldn't get the ball up. I think uh, next time I'm gonna be swinging up a little bit more. Just cut up under it a little yeah, bit more? Yeah, just a little bit more. Well, here's Kenny Boyer batting in the bottom half of the second inning. We're all tied up at two to two. Foul ball, what that's it out. Incidentally, the pitcher who throws the most home run balls will also receive a bonus. High pop up, two away. Two out. High ball sliced into right field. It'll stay in the ballpark. Three out. And that's all for Kenny Boyer in the last half of the second inning. And the score at the end of two innings complete, Hank Aaron two, Kenny Boyer two. Kenny Henry left the door open for you, but you didn't close it. No, I didn't. I sure didn't. Well, you're still all tied up there two to two. How would you describe Henry's swing for me? Well, he's uh, he's what we say uh, call a wrist hitter. He he, uh, he times the ball, lunges into it, and, and, and then uh, strictly with the wrist. High pop-up. He starts, he goes toward that pitcher when that pitcher starts towards him with that shoulder. He keeps what that up? left shoulder down real good, and then, and then it's all with a wrist after that. Just, just turns flex, the wrist. Flex it out there. Henry Aaron batting, top half of the third. We're all tied up at two to two. High fly ball slicing into right center field. This could go. It's a way back, but he's in the ballpark. There's two outs. Right in the beautiful part of the park. For you. 4-12. 4-12. Three outs. That's a line drive out. Break a shortstop leg. Yes, it would. And that's all in the top half of the third inning. The score remains. Henry Aaron, two. Kenny Boyer, two. Henry, I notice you stand way back deep in the batter's box. Why? Well, that's because I can see the curveball a little bit better, you know, and I like to give pitchers a lot of room to throw that ball. They tell me throughout baseball you don't have any trouble with the fastball. Well, I have my trouble, but uh, I try to overcome it, you know. I try to wake on that uh, problem. We're all set. Here's Kenny Boyer. Swings on the first pitch and sends it high and deep into left field. She is gone over the left field wall. And Kenny Boyer goes out in front. Three home runs to two. High pop-up. Straight center field. That's one out. What a one. Kenny Boyer broke the tie here in the bottom of the third. Now leads Henry Aaron by three home runs to two in our home run hitting contest. 
two away. That's two out. Ball seemed to be sinking. Yeah, that one seemed like it went down just a little bit. Swinging a high fly ball, belted high and deep in the left center field. It is three out. Way back there, but in the ballpark for an out. And that's all. Kenny Boyer picks up a home run in the bottom of the third. And at the end of three innings of play, it's Ken Boyer three, Hank Aaron two. Now let's take time out for a moment. What brother combination hit the most homers in the major leagues? Is it A, the Alou brothers, Felipe, Jesus, and Maddie? B, the Smothers brothers, Dick and Tom? Or C, the Aaron brothers, Henry and Tommy? Stay tuned for the answer when we return to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports. Get opinions. I always thought I was the best. You know, from day one, I thought I was the best. Get controversy. I think this sport has become commercialized, maybe too commercialized. Get personal. You know, the biggest mistake I ever made in my career was getting involved in drugs. I'm not ashamed of that. You can build your inner strength from it and be a far better man than you were before. Get to your TV for the original one-on-one -on -one interview, Distant Replay, Thursday night at 7 Eastern, only on Classic Sports Network. Would you do this to a $1,000 leather sofa? Ouch! Of course not. But accidents do happen, and we can fix them like new with Liquid Leather, another great product from HSN Direct. It'll make that ruined sofa, this damaged briefcase, this torn leather jacket, all like new again. And it's so easy to do. Just fill in the sore spot with the high-tech urethane compound with perfectly matched color. Cover with the finishing patch and let dry. Remove and you have a perfect match that lasts forever. It's great for vinyl and naga hide too. Use it to fix that ugly crack on your dashboard. Just apply and let dry. It works every time. You get all the colors you need along with an easy to follow mixing chart that shows you how to perfectly match any color. Even these ruined $90 pumps can be made like new. Just apply and let dry. $600 to replace this vinyl car top? No way. Just apply and let dry. $370 for a new car seat? Not a chance. Just apply and let dry. How about this expensive floor? Not a problem. Just apply and let dry. You never need heat or special tools. Just apply and let dry for a perfect match that lasts forever. You'd gladly pay $70, even $80 for this little miracle that can save you hundreds. But with HSN Direct, liquid leather is just $19.95. But it gets even better. Order now with your credit card and get Insta Fabric absolutely free. It works like a charm to repair tears and cigarette burns on any kind of fabric or upholstery to just like new. Use liquid leather for 30 days. If you're not 100% satisfied, return it for a refund. Either way, keep Insta Fabric as a free gift. Supplies are limited. Call now. Call 1-800-753-8899 now to order liquid leather. Or send $19.95 plus $4.95 delivery to Liquid Leather, P.O. Box 2978, Framingham, Massachusetts. What brother combination hit the most homers in the major leagues? The correct answer is C. Henry and Tommy Aaron hit a combined total of 768 home runs, with Henry accounting for 755 of them. We now return to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Back to Home Run Derby and the top of the fourth inning. Kenny, it didn't take you long to break the tie. Well, we got one up. We're going to need all that we can get, I think. Well, Henry is a great, great, great hitter, both for average and for distance. Out, Jeff. One, one. one out. This ballpark has been selected because it favors neither an American or a National League player. The fences are of equal distance with no advantage to a right or a left-handed hitter. Pop up foul. Two away. Two out. Henry doesn't strike out too much, does he? Very little. He hits all pitches. Bad balls. High fly ball into straightaway center field, but it's not going to carry. And that's all for Aaron. Three out. Going down in order here in the top half of the fourth inning, and the score going into the bottom half of the fourth is Ken Boyer three, Hank Aaron two. Henry, you're a right-handed batter against a right-handed pitcher. Does the way the pitcher throws make any difference to you? No, I prefer seeing a right-hander than a left-hander because I get a little anxious when I see a left-hander. Kenny Boyer swings on the first pitch and lifts a high fly ball into left center field. 
One away. That's one out. The bottom half of the fourth inning. Boyer out in front of Aaron by a score of three to two. Last week, Ken Boyer defeated Harmon Killebrew by a score of three to two. An identical score to this one right now. Line drive belted high and deep. Away back. Way, way back. And gone over the left center field wall. Yeah, he really belted that one, didn't he? <laughs> Boy, he put wood to that one. It's a four to two ball game now. Kenny Boyer leading. High pop-up. Two out. That'll be two out. Ken Boyer has more home runs here in three and two-thirds innings than he had last week in nine complete. High pop-up foul, and that's all. Three outs. Kenny Boyer picks up a home run in the bottom half of the fourth inning, and at the end of four complete, it's Boyer four, Aaron two. Well, Kenny, you said you wanted to average a home run an inning. You have four and in four innings. I didn't say that. I said I wanted to get one every inning after that first one. Ground ball, one out. What he a looks one. formidable up there, doesn't he? He's mean. Pretty good one-two punch, him and Matthews. There she goes, way back, way back, and gone over the left field wall. It's a four to three ball game. Two outs. I'm sure stop a backhand that choke him to death, wasn't it? <laughs> That's a ground ball in and out. Three Henry three. Aaron picks up a home run here in the top half of the fifth inning. And the score of the contest at the midway point is Ken Boyer four, Hank Aaron three. Henry, you're hitting that ball solidly all right. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of base hit, but it just don't count. <laughs> they just don't count here. High fly ball in the straightaway center. One out. One out. Ball just missed having that good sound to it. Four to three, Kenny out in front. Look out, way back, and gone. You can say that again, it's way gone. <laughs> he got good wood on that one. Five to three, Kenny leading. High fly ball into left center field. It's going to be in the ballpark. Two out. And they're two away. Kenny Boyer leads by a score of five to three. Last week, Ken defeated Harmon Killebrew three to two. Line drive built into left field, and it is gone over the left field wall. It's now a six to three ball game. Oh boy, he's really hitting that ball now, isn't he? Ground ball, and that's all. Three and up. at the end of five complete, it's Ken Boyer six and Hank Aaron three. Kenny, it looks like you've found the range. Oh, I tell you, I just don't feel secure until I get about 12 or 15. Ken Boyer leading by a score of six to three. Paw ball. That's an out. So there's one away in the top half of the sixth. There she goes. Goodbye. Wow. Didn't leave any doubt about that one. No, he didn't. It's a six to four ball game. He picked up a low pitch that time, too. An off his shoe. High pop up. Two away. Two out. I see what you mean about not being safe with Aaron no. up here. No. I... If I'm ahead of the last of ninth, I'll be thankful. Foul ball, and that's all. Three out. Hammer and Hank Aaron picked up a home run in the top half of the sixth inning, and the score going into the bottom of the sixth is Ken Boyer six, Hank Aaron four. Henry, that was a very low pitch that you hit your home run on there. Yeah, well, it's still, it was in the strike zone, though. It was in the yeah, strike zone. Yeah, it was in the strike zone. Here's Kenny Boyer up the last half of the sixth inning. Boyer leading six to four. What Foul ball, one out. Ken had two in the first, one in the third, one in the fourth, and two in the fifth. Two outs. Ground ball, two out. Line drive. Would have been a base hit. Three away. Yeah, it was. But it's just an out here. And that's all. Kenny Boyer goes down in the last half of the sixth inning, and the score, Kenny Boyer six, Hank Aaron four. Now let's take time out for a moment. You watching Home Run Derby on Classic Sports Network. Watch Classic Sports. It's the greatest of all time. My cable company just picked it up. You'll come over. Cool. And this time, bring chips. I'm calling my cable company. I gotta get Classic Sports, and you can't stop me. Classic Sports, Classic Sports. Yes, we just got Classic Sports. We got it. Hey, all these guys get it. So don't leave your friends out in the cold. Spread the word about Classic Sports Network today.
It's a game with unmatched history. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Filled with great players and great moments. Now, Sports Illustrated brings you baseball the way it was meant to be with SI's exclusive classic baseball collection. You'll get the extraordinary two-video boxed set, The History of Baseball, plus your choice of a classic baseball cap from one of the game's historic teams. And best of all, SI's classic baseball collection is free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. Hello, babe. How do you feel? Fine, with The I History of yourself. Baseball, you'll get a chance to relive an era when well, baseball was large than life. Best, so. all you boys will be out there watching us. And with your classic baseball cap, you can choose from any one of four historic teams. The Brooklyn Dodgers of 1955. Boy, the 1951 New York Giants. The 1975 Boston Red Sox. There it goes, a long drive. If or the legendary New York Yankees. And Joe DiMaggio, chosen choice up there, right hand hitter. Call now, use your credit card, get 54 issues of Sports Illustrated, including the spectacular baseball preview and our famous swimsuit issue for only $1.48 an issue. You save 55% off the cover price. Plus, you'll get SI's classic baseball collection free. So pick your team, the Brooklyn Dodgers, the New York Giants, the Boston Red Sox, or the New York Yankees. There's nothing like SI's classic baseball collection, and there's nothing in the world like Sports Illustrated. Get into it. Let's rejoin host Mark Scott for the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. Back to Home Run Derby and the top of the seventh inning. Kenny, we're coming down to the last third. And I don't have enough. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, well, here comes Henry Aaron striding up to the plate. Hank picked up two home runs in the first, one in the fifth, one in the sixth, trails by two. Kenny Boyer out in front, six home runs to four. High towering fly ball. I believe it's going to stay in the ballpark. One out. And it does. One out in the seventh inning. Line drive way back. She's going, going, and gone, and it's six to five. There she goes, way back, so long. And that's two in a row. Ties it up at six to six. One more home run, it'll be $500. Three home runs in a row for either player, any player, any time. It's an added bonus of $500. High pop up. Just got under it. Got under it a little bit too much. Go away. That's two out. You know, if he hadn't been under those uh, last two that he missed, could have been four in a row. Right. Henry Aaron has tied it up six to six here in the top of the seventh. Cow ball, and that's all. Three out. That was a sigh of relief from Kenny Boyer. Two home runs for Hank Aaron here in the top half of the seventh inning, and the score going into the bottom of the seventh is Ken Boyer six, Henry Aaron six. Henry, you had two in a row and chance for a third for a bonus of $500. What happened? Well, I just got on that one just a little bit. The last half of the seventh, we're all tied up, fans, at six to six. Right through the middle. What a way. Henry Aaron has come from behind here, trailing at one time six to three. Locked it up six to six. Ground foul. Two away. Would you rather hit uh, 400 or 60 home runs in one year? I'd rather do it both, see how I'd feel. <laughs> Round foul, and that's all. Three out. As Kenny Boyer goes down scoreless here in the bottom half of the seventh inning, and the score at the end of seven complete, Hank Aaron, six, Kenny Boyer, six. Ken, you seem to be hitting over those balls in that inning. Yeah, I was topping the ball that time, hitting low pitches. Takes that pitch inside. Pitch does not count unless it's in the strike zone and the batter doesn't swing at it. High pop up, one out. What a way. Eighth inning. Henry got one in the fifth, one in the sixth, two in the seventh to tie it up. High fly ball, there she goes, so long into orbit. 
well over the left center field wall. Henry Aaron takes the lead for the first time, seven to six. He kissed that one. Two away. Fouls it off, two out. Hank Aaron out in front of this contest for the first time, picking up a home run here in the eighth inning to go out in front, seven to six. Look out, so long until tomorrow. Well over the left center field wall, it's an eight to six ball game with Henry Aaron leading. Two home runs sandwiched in between outs here in the eighth. There goes two in a row. Wow. And that's two home runs in a row. Another one is worth $500 to Henry Aaron, who now leads nine to six. Three home runs in the top of the eighth. A tremendous display of power by Hank Aaron. Hello, 500. It may go. It's a way back and stays in the ballpark. Three outs. Man, he just didn't quite get it far enough. He went down in his bed for three in a row. But Hank Aaron picks up three home runs here in the top half of the eighth inning. Now leads Kenny Boyer nine to six. Henry, we spoke about your nervousness before. It certainly doesn't affect your hitting. Well, no. Uh, once I put on this uniform and step to that plate, uh, everything seemed to disappear, nervousness and all. You know, but before a ball game or any time I put this uniform on, I'm always nervous. Well, I think you're tense and, and want to go. You're chomping at the bit. Yes, uh, I feel good right now, and I'm seeing the ball a little bit better. Wonderful. Here's Kenny Boyer, the last half of the eighth inning, trailing by three. High pop-up. One out. Foul territory. There's one out. He missed us. I still don't feel safe with this boy at the bat, though. <laughs> Kenny Boyer, in his game against Harmon Killebrew, had to come from behind. Now he's faced with the same problem here. Two away. Ground ball, two out. Hank Aaron leading nine to six, last half of the eighth. Remember, next week, the winner of this contest against another outstanding major league slugger. High fly ball into left field. That's going to stay in. Three out. And that's all for Boyer in the eighth inning. For the third consecutive inning, Kenny Boyer failed to hit a home run, and the score going into the top half of the night is Hank Aaron, nine. Kenny Boyer, six. Ken, the pressure's really on now. Looks like I'm in some kind of trouble, doesn't it? Well, I would not say you're in trouble as yet. You're never in trouble until you've had that last out. Well, that's true. Here's Henry Aaron, top half of the ninth inning, leading nine to six. One away. That's an out. It's a shame to call a it's base hit today. like that an out, isn't it? It's an out today. It's an out today. Had a good crack to it. Two out. Ground ball, two away. Time, hold it up. Mickey Mantle twice had nine home runs in one ball game. Harmon Killebrew once. Three out. Ground ball, and that's all for Hank Aaron in the top of the ninth inning. And the score going into the last half of the ninth inning is Hank Aaron nine, Ken Boyer six. Henry, all you can do is sit and wait now. That's all I can do, and just hope he just hit two. Just hits <laughs> two. You're out in front by three home runs. Here comes Kenny Boyer, the last half of the ninth inning. Hank Aaron leading nine to six. Line drive down the left field line. It is against the wall. What a one. A little, bit, a little bit up, he'd have hit that one over the fence. Yes, he would have. The ball had a good sound to it. Yes, it did. One out. Two outs. Line drive, two outs. Coming right down to the end. Kenny Boyer needing three to tie, four to win, the last half of the night. High fly ball in the left field. And that's all as Henry Aaron wins it. 
by a score of nine to six. We'll be back to talk to Hank Aaron and Kenny Boyer in just a moment. We'll return in a moment to the Home Run Derby Marathon on Classic Sports Network. My son insisted we try America Online. I said, what's in it for us? Now I know better. America Online makes our lives easier. It saves time and money, too. Look, I'll show you. You've got mail. My wife's family is all over the map. Big phone bills. Now she uses email. Just point, click. She says it's a great way to keep in touch. I don't mind saving for retirement anymore. I can research mutual funds, chart all my stocks, and do my banking all from home anytime I want. Now I have more time for family fun, like playing computer games. We download all our favorites and get a teacher's help with homework. No wonder the kids area earned the parents' choice seal of approval. I used to be intimidated by the internet and the World Wide Web, but thanks to America Online's great new web browser, I'm right at home. And there's more. Scan hundreds of magazines, get sports scores, enjoy hobbies, even shop online. So call this toll-free number and get everything you need to make your life easier and more fun. Call 1-800-497-6633 for your free startup kit and 50 free hours. He never chewed tobacco till he was six. He never had a drink till he was seven. He stole whatever loose change was around the house on his own testimony. And Ruth said once, I was a bad kid. He knew who he was. He knew that he was Babe Ruth. He knew he put the people in the park. He knew that he was the emperor of American baseball. Bill introduced him to Babe. And do you know what Babe said to the governor of Arkansas? Hello, kid. Glad to meet you. That is his remark. It wasn't glad to know you, governor, or nothing like that. Hello, kid. Glad to know you. Dickie likely fell to a hole. It embarrassed him, see, but that was babe. When you figure the things he did and the way he lived and the way he played, you got to figure he was more than an animal, even. There never was anyone like him. And then, in his old man's voice, Joe Dugan said, He was a god. You're watching Classic Sports Network. Well, Kenny, it took one of the best to beat you. With this check for $1,000, that's a total of $3,000 that you've won on Home Run Derby. Congratulations. Thank you, Mark. Good luck, Henry. Thank you, Ken. Well, Henry, you hit nine home runs, which ties the Home Run Derby record for the most home runs in one ball game, and you've won $2,000. Your next opponent will be from the American League, Jim Lemon. Well, I'm going to try to be at my best because I know he's tough. I know that you're both going to be trying. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Join us at home plate for another exciting contest when Hank Aaron will meet Jim Lemon on Home Run Derby. Home Run Derby is produced with multiple cameras. The players' interviews being recorded simultaneously with the contest. 